following the money and asking the question, should the city continue to pay for the mounted patrol? Well, now, last week, uh, one city commissioner suggested they drop the program and use the money for other public safety issues. Now, that is people who support the unit upset. So we sent Tim Becker down the money trail to see why. So, are you feeling a little duped or cheated or, or deceived? Uh, uh, we feel kicked in the gut. A group called Friends of the Mounted Patrol thought they had a deal with City Hall. If he reached an agreement where we would raise $200,000 for each of the next two years to get the Mounted Patrol through the difficult budget cycle. We've been actively doing that. But then they saw this memo from Steve Novick to other city commissioners referring to the Mounted Patrol unit as largely ornamental, suggesting the money be spent elsewhere in next year's budget. And right now, the city is paying 860000 a year. That's a good chunk of money. Novick tells me city council never agreed last year to two more years for the Mounted Patrol. We just voted in a one-year budget, and the mayor had had conversations with the friends them out of patrol about two years, but the rest of us in the city council weren't part of those conversations. The police bureau has always valued the unit. We do a lot of community outreach and they provide a valuable service to uh, the areas they patrol. Citizen contacts, crowd management. And supporters hope Mayor Hales has pull with the commissioners. Right now we're waiting until the mayor returns and we have a chance to uh, hear from them as a body. But Novick tells me the $860,000 annual budget could be better spent on other public safety measures like earthquake preparedness and dangerous intersections. Is the mounted patrol unit is not worth the taxpayer money that's being spent on it right now, you think? I actually wouldn't say that. I would say that the mounted patrol unit is not as high a priority as other things competing for city dollars. In Northwest Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.